Hi guys, how are you today? <laughs> this is gonna be day three of my video diary stuff. Stuff. <laughs> okay, let's see if I can get that. Um, <clears throat> boss babe, that's what that says, in case anyone was wondering. <laughs> um, so I have, I'm hoping it's allergies. I feel a little bit congested in my nose and I think it, I think it's allergies because I don't feel sick at all. Um, I just have, I've been sneezing. Um, and <clears throat> I was kind of cleaning earlier today. I was sweeping and vacuuming. So, um, it could have been that. <laughs> Starla's fur does, um, trigger my allergies. Not Luna's. Well, Luna's sometimes, but not so much. Um, Starless fur does though. She does trigger my allergies. So I have noticed I have to take an allergy pill, um, every once in a while when it gets to the point where it's just really annoying. And <clears throat> that's today. <laughs> so I took, I just took an allergy pill. So hopefully that'll kick in because I've been sneezing and I just feel a little bit congested and I had like itchy, itchy, watery eyes. So if you see me sniffling or if you see me like, Picking at my nose, it's because <laughs> it's because I have allergies right now. So I'm gonna light a candle. This candle is the Lucid Dreamer candle. It's actually almost done. Look at how gorgeous though. I freaking love the way it looks when it's lit <clears throat> with all the herbs. Um, but I'm gonna light it because I want to have it lit when I do the weekly um readings. I'm gonna be filming those after this video. So yes. Um I have to clean this tarot room like it is such a mess um i have decks and just stuff everywhere <laughs> and it's starting to drive me crazy because um after a while like i can handle my own mess but after a while it starts to get to me too so i have to really start to organize i need to organize the closet space like the decks for the most part aren't that messy but um I really need to just organize and I really want to just find something to do with that section of the room <laughs> um, because right now I don't have any sitting space right there like I really want to get a chair I really really want to get a chair but that's something that I has I has to wait till when my husband is around to help me move it so until then um, we just will pretend pretend that that part of the room doesn't exist <laughs> um, what else I gave my husband a reading before he left. So like I said, he left um, literally like probably 15 minutes ago. <laughs> so it wasn't sad. Like I get I get a little bit sad when I know he has to leave, but he's coming home this coming weekend. So it makes it easier for me to send him off because I know he will be back in like five days. So it's not too much of a, it's not too sad. Like as opposed to like when I know for a fact he's not coming home for a week for another week, then that makes it, that makes it really hard to send him off because then that's two weeks of going without him. Um, hopefully last week was the last two week, like s separation from him until now, like for the rest of this, um, experience, because, um, I think like the tests and stuff that they're doing, they're willing, they're, they're able to retest during the weekend stuff and they don't have to stay for the weekend. So I think all of their weekend classes are done. Um, so that's kind of nice to know because now I know he'll be home every weekend. Um, and yeah, <laughs> so I get to spend some time with him in that, that way. We're creeping closer to his graduation date too, which is kind of exciting. Um, but the thing about that is that <clears throat> he has to pass the test to graduate. So it's kind of like a bittersweet feeling when you, when he has a test lingering that he still has to pass. It's like he doesn't give himself, he doesn't allow himself to see him almost graduating because he still has to pass that test. So he's really, really, really hard on himself. Um, but that's just the way he is. So, anyways, um, I don't really know what I want to <laughs> what I want to talk about for this for this um, for this video. I'm just kind of kind of rambling. Um, I guess I could just update like what my husband and I did this weekend. So I worked on Saturday, um, and then I left early. I left at three thirty, so I was able to come home, and I was home by four thirty. So. <clears throat> him and I just spent the rest of the day together and um we 
We were going to barbecue, but his parents, because his parents came over earlier in the day to visit, and um, they the plan was they were going to barbecue carne asada, and then, um, you know, I was going to have some when I get home. But they ended up not barbecuing, so him and I just picked up uh, dinner. We ordered in from a restaurant, and we just went and picked it up. Like, we're those kind of people. <laughs> like, I like going to the restaurant and having the experience of eating at a restaurant and all of that. But I also really just like, especially when it's him and it's just like, I haven't seen him in, in so long. I really like to just order food and go pick it up and then eat it at home. And so that's what we did. We watched a movie and we ate dinner and just cuddled on the couch. And I think we went to sleep around midnight and we slept in this morning and, and had a coffee and it was just really nice. And the really cool, cute, sweet part, <laughs> um, the little things, right? The little things that I take for granted. <clears throat> um, my husband washed dishes all weekend and he um, he made my coffee in the morning and it was just super sweet because those are the little things that I forget how nice it is when you have somebody doing that for you. Um, so he, <laughs> just having him washing the dishes, like saying, put the dishes in the sink, I'll wash them later. Or having him making my preparing my coffee while I'm getting ready for the day like that's what happened when I was getting ready for work I was putting my makeup on and he was like I'll make your coffee and this and that and it was just it's just really nice it was so nice because I <laughs> I've been you know doing all that for myself I've been fending for myself cooking for myself preparing my own breakfast lunch dinners and after a while like it's old like after a while I'm like I hate cooking for one I hate cooking just for myself sometimes it's like I don't even want to cook because I just don't want it I it's like I gotta I'm, I'm setting the table for one and it's so it's so sad <laughs> so I was totally like loving having him prepare my coffee and he thought it was so weird he was just like why are you so excited over that and I'm like because it's it's just so nice. It's just so nice. So anyways, um, <clears throat> yeah, so I have a bunch of these like selves and stuff. Um, a while back, look at all of these delicious herbs. I have so many herbs um, because I love to put them. I like to dress herbs in my candles, like dress my candles with the herbs. Um, and I used to make oils, like little roll-on oil things, but I haven't done that in so long. And I want to kind of get back into it, but... <laughs> I haven't I haven't done it and then I have like these soaps like this one is blood moon spirit soap it was literally made it was charged on the blood moon that's how old this is this is a couple years old um lavender cherry pit pack I mean like I have all this gorgeous stuff dragon soap <gasps> I love it um that I need to use so I, I brought it all out when I was cleaning this stuff out I brought it out and um and I was like you know what I'm gonna use it so I have these cute little, I have this little Dia de los Muertos soap. Isn't he so cute? Um, and so I'm going to use those. Hopefully it doesn't do any damage to my skin. I don't think so, though. I trust the person that I bought it off of. Um, I have like loose crystals all on my table. So. And then I have teas. I have like a bunch of little teas here that I get. Like sometimes, you know, like when you order... Um, crystals or a candle or something from someone's little witchy shop sometimes they send you teas and I love that I think that's so cute so I'm gonna start a little tea probably a little tea jar you know um because I'm not a tea drinker but in the winter season when it's really cold and now that I'm living up in the desert it gets really really cold like it snowed up here at one point <laughs> and I was just like oh my god it's fucking snowing I've never seen snow before um and so it's that like when it's cold like that it it puts me in the mood so totally gonna be doing that I have this I think this is lip balm that they made yeah dragon balm shea butter beeswax jo jojoba oil lanolin oil vitamin e soy <clears throat> something else I can't pronounce <laughs> so this person was really creative I don't even know if this person has their shop anymore let's see if they have their um it doesn't have their shop name on here just like what's the ingredients it was just a bunch of random stuff that she gave me 
<clears throat> but it, like I said, it's like a couple years old. So I don't even know, like, are these still good if it's if it's been like a year or two? If it's so small, it's good. I'm gonna try it. <laughs> so if you guys see me like all broken out, then you'll know what happened. And then I have all my little sprays and stuff. I just gotta organize. Um, <clears throat> so I don't have any readings booked this weekend, which is surprising because usually I have at least like two or three. Um, and then on some, some weekends I have a lot, but last weekend I had a lot of readings and then this weekend was quiet. Like I didn't really make any sales this last week. So as, as much as that kind of, it's kind of sucks because I love to do my readings on my days off, but I also, it's nice to have like that extra cash flow coming in. Um, I'm, I'm embracing the quiet. Um, <laughs> I feel like. I feel like that's the universe's way, like giving me quiet time, no readings, no orders before the big flow, because I feel like there's going to be a big flow as soon as I open up my um, Halloween and fall theme readings in my shop. So I feel like it's just kind of like enjoy these next couple days, the last days of August, and then you're going to get a bunch of sales. So, <laughs> and then it'll get really busy. But, um, when I open the fall theme readings, I, I'm going to have the shop open. It's going to be, they're going to be available all of September and October. So don't, you guys don't feel like you have to rush and like book one. They don't sell out. You can always order one. Um, it's just, I, I do my orders in the order that I receive them. So if you're booking your reading, you know, September 1st, you're going to get your reading done. Like it's going to be like one of the first in the batches that I do. So yeah, <laughs> so I feel like this is kind of like the calm before the storm kind of thing and not a bad storm, but like a, it's like, okay, relax and enjoy this, this, this time. And then you're going to get busy again. <laughs> so, um, <clears throat> yeah, so that's that. Um, what else do I want to talk about? I don't have anything to talk about you guys. <laughs> Um, yeah, I don't, I don't really have anything to talk about. <laughs> um, next week is going to be easy. What do I have next week? I have three days. I'm working three days. I work Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and I work one to seven. And then I have a four day weekend coming up. So this is going to be a really easy week as we end August. Um, yeah. It's all quiet. It's so quiet in my house now. Like, I love it when my husband's home. He always has his music on or like, he's just, I like to have that extra noise in the house. It's so quiet when he's not here because <laughs> it's just me and the cats and the cats are sleeping right now. They're both sleeping together which is unusual because usually they fight when like Starlo wants to be in the cat tree and she pushes Luna out, but they're actually both sleeping together. So they get along sometimes and then sometimes they don't. <laughs> um, well, this was kind of like a boring video. I'm sorry, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't really have anything exciting to talk about. What am I currently reading? Let's talk about that. Um, so I love to read fiction. I love to read um, science fiction. I love fantasy, some fantasy. I like more of the naughty stuff. Like I like, I love teen books, like young adult fiction, but it's so juvenile to me now. Like I want, I like the risque stuff. I like the 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 taboo stuff right I like to read about that kind of stuff um the stuff that like your parents would probably be like what are you reading like you know what I mean like I like to read that kind of stuff <laughs> and I'm not talking about like erotica romance I'm talking about like books about drug addictions and like just shit that I would would never want to have to deal with personally, <laughs> but I like to read about it through someone else's experience. You know what I mean? I guess, I don't know. I don't know if that's like the right way to word it. Cause I did go through the, the alcoholism with my dad, but I guess like, I guess like if I were to write a book about 
my experiences as a young girl going through my dad's alcoholism and like how it affected me and all of the weird shit that I saw and I went through that I probably shouldn't have seen and went through as a little girl. Um, that's the shit I want to read about. Does that make sense? Like, I, I don't, I hope it makes sense. So anyways, the one that I'm into, let me hide the little sticker that shows the library. Um, I'm reading The Marriage Lie, and so this book is pretty juicy. I'm only on, into chapter three, and it's just to be a brief summary. It's basically um, a woman loses her husband. He passes away, and she digs up all of his old lies. Like, there's, I guess he has, like, this whole other life, <laughs> life or whatever. And so it's funny how I discovered this book because... <clears throat> when I look for books because I work in a library so I was searching I was like I look at Goodreads I look you know at our at our library catalog I like to look to see like what other people are reading but there's certain subject matters that I like to read about so um like I said if I like to if I want to read about a drug addiction or if I want to read about um well, like what's another one I like I like like prostitution like that kind of stuff there's some really good memoirs there's a there's one uh, is it called girl I think it's called girl that was a really good one <laughs> um I like to read like Ellen Hopkins read writes really 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 good books she's she writes for um young adults but her her books her books are the type of books I'm talking about like I don't know how to word it um like taboo she talks about everyday issues like people things that we deal with people who deal with addictions people who deal with eating disorders people who deal with abusive relationships people who deal with um, sex addictions or um, you know all of that stuff that that society would deem taboo right Ellen Hopkins writes about it and she writes it in this beautiful poetic way and I just indulge in all of her books so if you're looking for an author and she does write young adult so but she does get more risque in her books than other young adult authors do she's a good one so check her out um but i'm getting into more of the adult fiction <laughs> like like it's not teenager fiction it's adult fiction so it does get really really juicy and it does get really risque so anyways recently I've been into reading about like marriages that are broken apart through affairs and like you know forbidden romance not that kind of stuff <laughs> so I remember I was asking my coworker, I was like have you read anything good like I really want to read about like like affairs like forbidden romances or you know what like your marriage is on the rocks because you found out that your lover is cheating on you that kind of stuff <laughs> I'm just really looking for a book that is like uh, that that embraces the experience that I am lacking in my life okay like I'm lacking the girl stuff like I don't have a lot of girlfriends. Like I have girlfriends that I talk to that I text with on a daily basis, but I don't have like girlfriends over hanging out with me on a day-to-day -day basis. You know what I mean? I don't go out with the girls. I don't do that. I just don't have that. And I wish I did. And, and I, and you know, and every once in a while, like I'll hang out with the coworkers or like, um, you know, like that, but I don't have like, girl, come on over. Let's have some margaritas and let's talk about the drama that's happening in your life or in my life or whatever, <laughs> even though I would love to have that. And so I want a book that gives me that energy, that gives me that experience. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. Um, and so I'm getting a little bit of that experience through this book. Um, I read another book previously, um, about a friend like three friends and there was some juicy drama that was happening amongst the friendships so that was pretty good it just gives me that feel of the drama and all of that but without actually having to go through it so I guess that that's what I'm trying to say is I love to read about books where I want to read about the juicy stuff or the sad stuff or the um the tragic stuff but without actually having to go through it myself. So 
I hope that, I don't know. I feel like now that I say it out loud, I feel like that sounds so awful because there are people who are living through that right now, you know? <laughs> but I also lived through it too. Like I went through a lot as a child and as a young adult, a lot. And maybe I'll get into that later on in some videos with you guys, but. Oh my God, the moon's entered cancer. <laughs> Never mind. We're not going to go into that topic right now because <laughs> then I'll just be crying the whole way. Um, but I feel like, I feel like a lot of my interest in, in like the taboo and the juicy stuff in life, the tragic stuff in life, the, the broken stuff, the broken parts of people. I feel like I like to read about it because I resonate with some of it. You know, I resonate with the alcoholism, the, the alcoholic family stuff. I resonate with the abusive relationships because I was in one. I resonate with um, eating disorders on a different level, like not not anorexia, but I, I resonate with emotional eating. And then I resonate with also taking advantage of count calorie counting. I did that briefly. I shared that recently on my Instagram, but I don't want to talk about that right now because that's a sensitive subject for me. <laughs> a lot of that stuff's sensitive. So I guess that's why I like to, to escape through the books because it's not my reality anymore. And so I get to enjoy it or not enjoy it. I don't know. I'm just not going to say anything anymore because I feel like I'm just, the words aren't coming out properly and I don't want, I just don't, I don't want to offend anybody. I'm not trying to offend anybody. I'm just trying to, <laughs> I'm just trying to explain why I like to read the types of books that I like to read. Some people like to read a lot of like fantasy series kind of books or like science fiction series and I have a hard time diving into a series right now um, because to me it takes excuse me it takes a lot of commitment to get through a whole series so <laughs> I don't really want to commit to a series right now I've just been committing to like quickie little books but um I like to read like that kind of stuff so if you guys know what I'm talking about and if you have any recommendations, I welcome you to leave them below in the comment section because I would love to hear your recommendations. What do you guys like to read? Do you, re do you recommend anything to me? If I were to recommend books to you guys, like I said, Ellen Hopkins is a really good writer. She writes like for, for young adult, but she does have a couple adult books, adult fiction. So Ellen Hopkins is good. Her Crank series is really, really good. That's the first series I read. Um... What else is good? Um, Nick Chef. There's a, t a teen book called Tweak. Um, that one's really, really good. That's about drug addiction. That one is so good. It actually made me cry. Um, there's there's a, a teen book called Cut. That one was heavy. That was about um, people who, this, this person who would cut. I don't even think I finished that one because I think it just, it was too much to read at the time with, with what I was going through. But that one's a that one was a pretty good one. Speak is a really good one. That's a teen book about um, a young girl who was raped. That one is a really good one. But if you if you have experience with that, it's very hard to read at times. Um, so you got to be careful. You know, I think that's why like I I enjoy those books now because I have closed a lot of wounds within myself, and so now I'm able to to read it and experience it without really experiencing it. You know what I mean? Um, and then I think it's also, I think the reason why I also like these books, like these fucked up books, <laughs> is because it validates my fucked up past. Like, it, it tells me that I'm not alone with what I went through because there's times where I'll be reading some of these books and these characters and some of the stuff that they say that the writer like expresses or the way that they're feeling is completely how I was feeling or like just the same mindset. And so I guess like when I'm reading books like that, to me, it just shows me that, you know, my upbringing was, it may not have been normal, but it was validated. Like someone else is going through that too. And it's kind of comforting, even though it's fiction and the characters aren't real, the stories that they go through, the experiences that they're going through is real. So I think that's why I like that mix. It's like real reality shit that we actually can or do go through in life, 
but a fictional character. So I love that blend. So if you guys have any books that you can recommend that you like that has to do with stuff like that, please pass them my way. <laughs> I also like to read true crime. Um, true crime has probably always been a favorite. Um, I, al I also like to read... I like to read romance like every once in a while. I really do like um, paranormal romance. <laughs> like vampire romance and like werewolves and stuff. Um, <laughs> so I have like a weird little interest in that. I love horror. Horror is another big favorite. I love zombie fiction. That's an obsession. I have so many zombie books, which you could see right over there. <laughs> So maybe that'll be another video where I show you guys my zombie collection because I have a lot. So anyways, you guys, um, I'm going to go ahead and head out and I'm going to film the weekly energy reading next. So thank you guys for tuning in for day three. Um, it's nice to be able to know that I can just like sit down and have a little chit chat with you guys. Um, and I will talk to you later. Bye loves.